Shakur Stevenson is making waves in boxing. Not only has this young man become a two-time world champion, and after this past Saturday's performance against Jamel Herring, snatching away Herring's WBO super featherweight title, Stevenson has put himself in a driver's seat that no one saw coming. What are we talking about? Let's talk about it. Coming off of his victory over Jamel Herring after this past Saturday's performance, Shakur Stevenson has put himself in a tremendous driver's seat going forward with his career. We're here to talk about it. And according to Boxing Scene, it has been reported that the televised bout of ESPN's main event from this past Saturday had 1,233,000 viewers and it peaked at 1,264,000. That's a lot of eyeballs on a match that was genu genuinely a good matchup for the sport at super featherweight the little guys huh but even more so the shot in the arm about quality boxing matches how many times have we said this now boxing scene has reported this earlier today the Shakur Stevenson Jamal Heron fight mostly maintain an audience in excess of 1.2 million late Saturday night despite the one-sided nature of a main event that ESPN televised. The link for this article will be in the description box. Nielsen Media Research released viewership figures on Tuesday today that indicated an average of 1 million 233,000 viewers who watched Stevenson Herring which didn't begin until 12.09 a.m. Eastern Time Sunday morning from the State Farm Arena in Atlanta. Viewership peaked at 1,264,000 for a WBO Junior Lightweight title that Stevenson won by 10th round technical knockout. Have we talked about this? When you mix quality opposition against quality opposition, this is what can be achieved. This is important because we have had plenty of naysayers and detractors that try to say certain things that are very disrespectful of fighters, their performances, and where they may stand overall in the sport of boxing. When we talk about these individuals, we don't really have to mention names because there are a, a slew of them. But it has to be said, once again, they're wrong. 
Okay? So when you think about this and you think about what Shakur Stevenson was able to accomplish and he was not the champion defending, he was challenging for Jamel Herring's title. When you think about this, you have to consider Stevenson, who's a former Olympian, came into this bout with boxing fanfare, true lovers of the sport. They know who he is. But I guarantee after this past Saturday, a lot more people know who he is now. And that's a great thing. The article from Boxing Scene continues. ESPN's entire telecast, which began at 10.39 p.m. Eastern Time and ended at 12.55 a.m., drew an average audience of 1.3 million. Nielsen's numbers include only those that watched on ESPN's linear channel in the United States, not viewers who watched on the ESPN Plus or ESPN Deportes. People, this is very good news for Shakur Stevenson, who may not have had much leverage going forward because the gentleman who promotes him, Bob Arum, top-ranked boxing, is as thrifty as they can come. But this right here, for those who like to say that certain fighters don't sell, huh? That they don't draw viewers, huh? Why is it now that two of the smallest guys in the sport that we know have bright futures are bringing in these kind of numbers? Shakur Stevenson, Javante Tank Davis. Think about it, people. And they are young. Not 28 years old yet. They are the future of the sport. They are the future of the box office. They are the future of pay-per-view. Shakur's people need to take this article and put it right on Bob's desk and say, you know what? It is time for you to allow us to become independent. We can still box for top rank. But whatever contract is there, you need to consider renegotiation unless you just want me to bolt. And he still has enough youth that he can, he can allow some time to go off that contract and become independent like so many young men have done in recent years. It's a great bargaining tool and it also shuts up detractors huh? who have been out there making and stating the claims that certain fighters don't sell. The 24-year-old Stevenson, who's now 17-0 with nine KOs, a two-division champion from Newark, New Jersey, he opened cuts above both Herring's eyes and remained in almost complete control from the opening bell until referee Mark Nelson stepped between them to stop their scheduled 12-round, 130-pound title bout at 1.30 of the 10th round. Cincinnati's Herring, who's now 23-3 and 11 KOs and was behind by insurmountable margins on all three scorecards, didn't protest the stoppage, even though he hadn't been knocked down during their bout. Stevenson's impressive victory drew higher ratings than his prior appearance on ESPN. His convincing, uneventful 12-round unanimous decision over unknown Nambian contender Jeremiah Nakathila, who was 21 and 1 with 17 KOs at the time, he's now 21 and 2 since losing to Shakur, drew an average audience of 857,000 and a peak audience of 927,000 on June 12th from the 
Theater at Virgin Hills Hotels, Las Vegas. Even those figures from that bout show that people were tuning in for Shakur Stevenson. This young man is a star in the sport, people. He's a star. Like it or not, people want to see Shakur Stevenson. An audience more comparable to Saturday Night tuned in for Stevenson's appearance on ESPN before he beat Nakatila. That main event was a 12, a 10 round unanimous decision victory over Toka Khan Clary, attracted an average of 1,280,000 viewers December 12th from MGM Grand Conference Center in Las Vegas. You cannot deny this young man is hitting home runs one after the other. Bob Arum, do your job. This young man has a tremendous future ahead of him. Do you not deny this? It is something that we have to consider. These are the heavyweight numbers, huh? These are the numbers that these guys, promoters, clamor for, for pay-per-view. It's right here, people. It's right in front of your face. ESPN aired the Alabama-Tennessee college football game immediately before its boxing broadcast began. Nielsen reported Tuesday that an average of 4,679,000 watched fourth-ranked Alabama beat Tennessee 52-24. Thanks in part to a strong viewership of Alabama-Tennessee, the brief Ali Walsh-Wellesley fight attracted an average of 1,796,000 viewers in Las Vegas's Ali Walsh, who was 2 and 0, a 21-year-old grandson of Muhammad Ali. He dropped Wesley 1 and 1 of Toledo, Ohio, twice before Wesley's cornermen stopped their scheduled four-round super middleweight match 30 seconds into the third round. This whole thing about Ali Walsh, Muhammad Ali's grandson, that's a story for another day. But as I continue with this article from Boxing Scene, they say that an average of 1,139,000 watched the second fight of ESPN's three-bout broadcast, Xander Zayas, Technical knockout of Dan Carpensier. Puerto Rico Zayas, who's now 11-0 with eight KOs, battered a game but overmatched Carpensier, who's now 9-4-1 with four KOs of Pennsylvania for four full rounds until Car- Carpensier's father and trainer, Tom, instructed referee Brian Stutz to stop the scheduled six-round junior middleweight match viewership of ESPN's boxing broadcast Saturday night peaked at 2,333,000 but that was before the Ali Walsh Wesley bout began this is something that is very exciting like I said and if you are a supporter of Shakur Stevenson you have to know that this means He's in the green. As much as Bob Arum likes to consider telling people who would listen, who's in the red with him? Shakur Stevenson is not one of those. Huh? Shakur is going to be able to write his own ticket, people. And what ticket is that? To the land with the pot of gold. That moolah, that thing that Bob Arum sleeps on, that bed of money. And trying to get it out of him is like trying to take a silver dollar out of a Coke bottle, huh? Without breaking the glass. Nearly impossible. But let's just say this 
Given the numbers that he has shown, Shakur has put himself head and shoulders above some others in the sport. It is now time to consider him a star in the sport. And there are other fighters out there, Oscar Valdez, who have to come and see him. Emmanuel Navarrete, huh? Where are you? If you want that bag, you're going to have to come and see Mr. Stevenson, huh? And that's all we want as a boxing public is to see great matches, quality matches, the best fighting the best, and what boxing has to offer as its best. And there is no doubt that Shakur Stevenson is considered amongst that now. It's in writing, people. It's the money. And so is Shakur on the money. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, and Liberated Perspective, the third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. That's all I have for you at this time. Until the next time we meet, peace to everyone out there, and everyone please remain safe. Keep your eye out for Shakur Stevenson because he's bringing it.